Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make the butternut squash curry or g a n g a t i f a k t o n g Okay, I going to start with our butternut squash. So I just gonna use the half of them, but the uh, um, the easy way to cut and peel them, I just going to cut them half like this way first. <sighs> Let's look. The butternut squash they only have a little bit of seed on the bottom that we have to remove. Okay, and now I'm going to cut them another half on this side. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, scoop it out. The seed in here is really easy. That's why I like about the butternut squash and a lot of meat, and then easy to peel and clean them. Oh, the seed is jumped. Okay, okay, and then I'm going to cut the skin out because they're really, really hard to eat or chew on it or cook. So I'm just going to the way easy way for me. Going to cut like this and remove. Here, this is the I find out an easy way for me. Okay, same thing with the bottom part. Okay, how I going to remove them? Okay, now I get the butternut squash peel and now I'm going to cut on the back side and another half. I going to keep them and use for different recipe. I really like the butternut squash. Because they're easy to cook and easy to peel out the skin, and this is perfect season for this recipe. And also in Thailand, we like to use the c a r b o c h a r squash instead of the butternut squash because we don't have a lot of c a r b o c h a r squash. Um, we don't have a lot of butternut squash over there, so we always use the c a r b o c h a r squash. And when you cut them, not cut them too small because if, when you cook them, they're going to Back down, really, really easy. So this is gonna be the about this chunk. The I going to cut them. Okay, now I done cutting our banana squash, and then I going to set on the side and let's start it uh, for the first step. Okay, and first I going to put the two tablespoon the coconut oil. I like to use a. Uh, Coconut oil. Sometimes this is my personal. Sometimes you not have to put the oil. The traditional Thai they just use a fresh coconut and making the oil. But I find out for me, I like to put a little coconut oil first and then put the coconut milk. Okay, I'm gonna put one cup of coconut milk, two tablespoon coconut oil, and one cup of coconut milk. And this way, it make the coconut milk and the oil. Cooking and separate and smell really, really good. But it's up to you if you don't want to put the oil. All right. And now, for the low heat, I'm going to uh, mixing our coconut oil and coconut milk. Let them cook a little bit until you see the uh, little bit boil from the coconut milk and give you really, really good smell from the coconut. And we're going to uh, do the next step. Okay, when our coconut milk start to get a little bit boil, I going to put the uh, our red curry. I use three tablespoon red curry. So all the red curry go in. All right, all right, and start to make sure you mix everything well together, and let the coconut oil, coconut milk, and the red curry cook well together. Okay, and now I cook into the medium low heat and try to make sure I mix uh, all the coconut milk and all the curry. Try to mix them well together. This this step maybe might take a little bit long because we want to cook until the you see the oil from the coconut milk is separate. So it might take a little bit time. So that's why you uh, not want to making the heat too high. I'm gonna burn everything. So we're gonna. Go slow on this one. Okay, now the oil start to getting separate. We cook. We take about five minutes. Slowly cook them until the you see the oil start separate from the coconut oil and 
the curly smell really really good right now now we're going to add our meat today i will use the one pound as a pork roy okay i use one pound pork roy okay you can use you can change to be a beef or chicken okay now we're going to cook the the pork and the, all the curly together okay now you can hide the heat after you add the protein okay wow the coconut smell really really good the coconut and the curly and the one can of the coconut i will put on the side another a quarter cup here and they still have a little bit on the bottom i'm gonna mix with the one cup of the water okay so i can add some um our coconut water in here just whatever left in the can plus a one cup of water okay all right and now give them the mix again make sure everything mix well together now the pork is already halfway done okay we're gonna start to put the seasoning and only have three seasoning because the curly and really really tasty already i'm going to put the one tablespoon fish sauce one tablespoon fish sauce okay and i'm going to put the one tablespoon the um, palm sugar too you different spoon <laughs> for the sugar gonna use the about one tablespoon palm sugar to balance all the salt in it and for the salt um just use a little bit at the time because inside the curly already salty so just use about one four teaspoon uh, salt all right and now we can put our butternut squash okay gonna put all the our butternut squash in here on top and let me mix them a little bit make sure they all cover and i'm going to put the lid on and let they cook for we're gonna check about uh five minutes and then we come check five minutes at a time okay now I give them a cover okay i let the our butternut squash cook for five minutes and now i'm going to open and check mm. <laughs> uh, let me just use the fork to know they still need to cook another few more minutes you have if they kind of soft and the fork just go through that means they uh, done cooking but i'm going to turn down the heat a little bit and i'm going to let them cook another two or three minutes you don't want to cook them too long because if you make to cook them too long all the it's gonna be too mochi so we're just gonna let them cook another two or three minutes and we check them again make sure they cook through and they soft all right we just just have to wait a little bit more <laughs> okay now another three minutes uh, let's check our uh, curry together okay i'm gonna lower the heat a little bit and let me make sure they all cook yes they soft now they soft enough because um when you done cooking they still hot and then the uh, squat is still cooking themselves so you make sure you not want to overcook them and now i'm going to give them the mix and i want to taste to make sure everything tastes good look at this and sometimes depend how big you cut them too okay if you cut them smaller than my sm smaller than this one you have to maybe use less time but now let me taste mm, it's good i think i think this is good okay now we're going to add a topping and the herb okay i'm gonna add the um one and a half cup the thai basil like a big handful big two handful okay this is all thai basil mm. Mm -hmm. give them the mix okay and gentle mix them because you don't want to broke out the the squash so just gentle mix okay and remember that we keep another um one fourth cup the coconut milk now time to add mm, coconut uh in uh, coconut milk 
We don't want to put in earlier because we want to put on the end so it keep it creamer. It keep it really, really creamy. <laughs> I mean, okay. And I have two more wedges and uh, one more wedges and the herb. And this one I use the lead bell pepper. I use a quarter of lead bell pepper, about this much, and I cut them to the uh, long pieces. Okay, so now bell pepper go in. Okay, and I use the five kaffir lamb leaf and I uh, thinly slide them. Okay, kaffir lamb leaf go in. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this, and then I'm going to give them the last mix and maybe if you want to taste one more time to make sure, you can after you add all the herb. Okay, now we're going to give them the mix. Mm. Okay, now just done cooking. Mm. Look. I have my jasmine rice over here. I'm gonna take taste with you. Just gonna scoop a little scoop. Uh oh, need more squash. I'm gonna put on top of my rice. Put some more squash. Oh, look at this, look at it. More. Some basil. Mmm. Okay, now we ready to try our banana squash curry, but as you can see, it's still super, super hot. So I'm going to cut the half our uh, banana squash. Look at this. Oh my goodness. All right. And I want a little bit of everything like I always do. And I'm going to go slow because they still really, really hot. It's hot, Joe. It's hot. Mm. Mm. Really good. <laughs> it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The butternut squash is really like a little bit sweet. And then the, um, the curry and the coconut, they smell really good. Plus the herb, kaffir lamb leaf and the Thai basil, it make the different, it make different. Hmm. I want to eat more and more. And really, really easy to make. Wow, they're really, really good. Okay, and it's so easy to make and perfect for your weekday recipe. I hope you like the video, I hope you like the recipe. If you like, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.